Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Hi, I'm Yazid. Thank you so much for being here and for watching this video. Big fat Indian weddings, as fun as they are, are not easy on the wallet, are they? Yesterday, as I sat sipping on a cup of tea, my wife mentioned that she has to buy a new outfit for her friend's sister's wedding next month. Now, before I could remind her about all the apparel that she already possesses, she continued saying that she will need one more outfit and matching shoes for another friend's wedding because she couldn't be caught dead wearing the same clothes again. And then, of course, there is our cousin's wedding this week where he has invited us to a five-star hotel, which means that we would be obliged to gift him something painfully exorbitant. Now, this got me thinking. If my family and I are spending tens of thousands of rupees during the wedding season for functions that are not even our own, like my wife's friend's sister's wedding, then just like me, there are millions more doing just the same. Picture this, Gopal is set to get married in December this year in Mumbai. Gopal buys a pair of gold earrings for each of his three sisters. A colleague of Gopal could gift him a watch. Mrs. Sharma, his neighbor, might buy a pair of new shoes and a sari. His younger brother gets his first suit stitched. Uncle Vinod flies down from Delhi carrying a bottle of the best single malt. And even his driver, Bittu, ends up buying a new sari for his wife to wear for the function. Now, wedding spends truly have a positive multiplier effect as Indian weddings pump large money into the wedding economy. November marks the start of the great Indian wedding season and it extends all the way to April. And this year could be even bigger as we move past the pandemic and get back to business as usual. India is set to have a full-fledged wedding season with all the glitz and vitality it missed the previous two years as a result of COVID limitations. Over 3 million weddings are expected to take place over the next month in India and according to the Confederation of All India Traders, it will generate business of a whopping 3.7 trillion rupees. And that's just phase one of the wedding season. The next phase of the wedding season will start from January and continue all the way till April or May 2023. And if you think about the multiplier effect, that could mean tens of millions of customers purchasing everything from clothes to gold, watches to consumer electronics, and so much more over the coming months. Savvy equity investors know the Indian wedding season by another name, the gold rush. If we are going to empty out our pockets this wedding season, how about we find a way to get our money back and maybe much more? After all, aren't some companies going to benefit immensely from this massive spend? This year, while we enjoy the wedding festivities, let us also find the hidden opportunities that we can take advantage of in stocks linked closely to weddings. Here are the sectors and their specific stocks that could benefit from the great Indian wedding season. Historically, the celebration wear category is the least impacted even in times of inflation or recession as Indians like to celebrate weddings, festivals and other occasions as lifetime events. The wedding season accounts for around 20% of the overall clothing industry sales. But for certain companies that cater specifically for this category, the season is a major contributor for its revenue. With weddings getting bigger, and pre- and post-wedding functions also being held, it's turning out to be a thriving time for apparel companies. The top two apparel companies to watch out on our list are Raymond Limited. The company is one of the leading players in the suiting business with a market share of over 60%. It is also the largest branded fabric player 
in the organized shirting segment. Since suits are a wedding staple, the company stands to benefit from the increase in weddings. For the September 2022 quarter, the company reported an 86% jump in revenue to 15.1 billion against 8.1 billion in September 2021. Profit after tax zoomed almost 300% to 1.1 billion rupees as compared to 280 million. The stock has had a great run on the bosses and gained 154% over the last 12 months. Currently, it trades just below its 52 week high at 1,300 levels. Vedant Fashions Limited The company caters to the Indian celebration wear market with a diverse portfolio of brands such as Maniavar, Mohe, and Manthan. It's well positioned to tap into the large and growing demand for wedding finery over the next few months with its strong brand franchise. The Indian wedding and celebration market is relatively less price sensitive compared to casual wear. Thus, the company generates healthy gross margins of over 72% with no end of season sale or discounts offered on MRP. For the half year ended 30th September 2022, the company has reported an increase of 52% in total income to 5.8 billion rupees and a 73% increase in net profit to 1.7 billion as compared to September 2021. Since its listing in February this year, the stock has gained 55% and is currently trading at close to 1,350 levels. While every Indian wedding is unique in its own way, jewelry plays a major role in each event with some estimates that families spend as much as 20% of the wedding budget on jewelry. The season makes family, friends and even guests flock in large numbers to jewelry stores for the happy events. Indian brides take jewelry to an extravagant new level, dripping in spectacular hair accessories nose rings, earrings, necklaces, amulets, and sometimes to the point where you'll see more gold than their face. The top two jewelry companies to watch out for this wedding season are Titan Company Limited. No surprises here as no jewelry company list would be complete without Titan, one of the largest retailers of watches and jewelry in India. For the financial year ended 31st March 2022, the company derived almost 88% of its revenue from its jewelry division. It sells jewelry through its brands Tanishq, Zoya, Mia, and Karatlin. The company's watches also see strong demand as a popular gift during the wedding season. Titan reported a 22% rise in revenue to 87.3 billion in the September 2022 quarter against 71.6 billion in the year earlier. Net profit for the same period was up 34% to 8.5 billion as compared to 6.4 billion year on year. After a stellar run on the bosses in 2021, the stock performance has been rather muted, gaining only 5% this year. A PE ratio of 75 could be a factor that may be limiting investors' interest in the stock. Kalyan Jewelers India Limited. The company is one of the oldest business families in India with a family legacy of over a century since 1908. Having ventured into jewelry retailing in 1993 in Kerala, where the company is headquartered, as on March 31, 2022, Kalyan Jewelers has over 150 showrooms spread across India and GCC. The company had reported significant growth in revenue and profit in December quarter of 2021 due to the wedding season, with revenue and profit jumping 15% and 74% respectively over the September 2021 quarter. It remains to be seen if the company could repeat such a performance this year. The company reported a revenue of 28.4 billion rupees and profit after tax of 950 million rupees for the second quarter of FY 2023. The 52 week high and low of the stock is 109.5 rupees and 55.2 rupees respectively. Currently, the stock trades just above rupees 100, up 51% since the beginning of the year. Another sector that gets a big boost from the wedding season 
is the consumer electronics industry. Typically, in India, the festive season starts from Onam, covers Durga Puja, and with Diwali, contributes around one third of the overall annual sales value across categories of the industry, which is estimated to be around 75,000 crore rupees. But the sales continue to remain elevated as the wedding season follows immediately after, right up to March. Electronic items such as televisions, air conditioners, refrigerators, and more are popular purchases by the bride and groom or as a gift given by family and friends on the occasion. Here are the two consumer electronics companies that you should add to your watch list. Voltas Limited. Voltas, a Tata Group company, is the undisputed market leader in the room air conditioner category for more than a decade, consistently maintaining the number one position and has steadily maintained its lead over the competition. Founded in 1954, the company is also globally recognized as an engineering solutions provider and a project specialist. It enjoys a strong presence across India, the Middle East, Southeast Asia and Africa. The company reported a consolidated net loss of 74 million rupees in the quarter ended September 2022 as against a net profit of 1 billion during the previous quarter ended September 21. Sales rose 4.2% to 17.4 billion rupees in the quarter ended September 22, as again 16.6 billion during the previous quarter last year. 2022 has been a disastrous year for the stock, which is down 34% since the beginning of the year. Dixon Technologies India Limited Dixon is an Indian multinational electronics manufacturing services company listed on the exchanges since 2017. Dixon is a contract manufacturer of televisions, washing machines, smartphones, LED bulbs, and CCTV security systems for companies such as Samsung, Panasonic, Bajaj, and Philips. It has 17 manufacturing units in India. An LED TV might be a common purchase during the wedding season, but have you ever wondered which company manufactures TVs for the market leaders Xiaomi and Samsung. No guesses here. Dixon is in fact the biggest manufacturer of LED TVs in India for the likes of Samsung, Panasonic, Xiaomi, TCL, OnePlus and many more with over 15% of all televisions sold in India assembled by the company. The company expects healthy volume growth at 24% year on year to 3.6 million units in FY23. In September 2022, Dixon signed an agreement with Google to sub-license rights relating to Android and Google TV, which would strengthen its position even further in the LED TV category. Net profit of Dixon rose 23.3% to 772 million rupees in the quarter ended September 22, as against 626.4 million rupees during the previous quarter, ended September 2021. Sales rose 37.9% to 38.6 billion in the quarter ended September 22, as against 28 billion during the previous quarter, ended September 2021. The stock has given a phenomenal CAGR of 51% since its listing in 2017. This year, however, the stock has underperformed the market and is down almost 18% till date. Hotels with wedding halls or open spaces can host multiple weddings on a single day. Weddings are generally preceded and followed by customary ceremonies, which too, many a times are hosted at the same location. Elaborate ceremonies can last up to a week, translating to confirmed F&B and room revenues. Over the years, weddings have become a significant contributor to total revenues generated by the hotel industry. According to reports, 2.5 million marriages may get solemnized during the wedding season this year, at hotels up by a record 25 to 30 percent over 2019-20 levels. The stock to watch out for in the hotel industry is none other than Indian Hotels Company Limited. The Indian Hotels Company Limited, or IHCL, is South Asia's largest hospitality company by market capitalization. 
the iconic brand Taj Hotels was ranked as the world's strongest hotel brand and India's strongest brand across sectors as per Brand Finance, a global leading brand valuation consultancy, in 2022. The demand outlook for IHCL continues to remain strong and IHCL has a pipeline of strong room additions. This would enable robust growth and demand is expected to outpace supply and this could increase room rates. Tata Group's hospitality arm Indian Hotels Company Limited posted a record profit of $1.3 billion in the second quarter of FY23 compared to a loss of $1.1 billion in the previous year. Its revenue grew to 12.5 billion rupees, a 67% growth year on year. The stock has risen 68% since the beginning of the year, following fundraising in FY 2022 and significant improvement in operating metrics in the first two quarters of FY 2023. Motorcycle manufacturing companies often look forward to the wedding season as it is a major contributor to their sales and performance for the year. One must bear in mind that over 40% of the two-wheeler market is in rural and semi-urban areas and it is very common for a groom to either purchase or be gifted commuter bikes on the occasion. People in rural areas invest in two-wheelers at the time of marriages as buying a two-wheeler is a luxury after all for them. In recent times, the outlook for two-wheelers especially in the commuter segment, has remained grim. Rising inflation, fuel prices being relatively higher, and overall consumption getting hit at the bottom of the pyramid has kept a large chunk of the overall market away. But companies are banking on the wedding season to help once again revive demand this year. Here is a two-wheeler company to add to your watch list. TVS Motor Company Limited. TVS Motor Company, the flagship company of the TVS Group, is the third largest two-wheeler manufacturer in India. It has an annual sale of more than 3 million units and an annual capacity of over 4.95 million vehicles. TVS Motor is also the second largest exporter in India, with exports to over 60 countries. The company manufactures the largest range of two-wheelers, starting from mopeds to scooters from commuter motorcycles to racing-inspired bikes. TVS Motor Company witnessed a standalone net profit of 4.1 billion rupees in the quarter ended September 30, 2022, compared to a profit of 2.7 billion, registering a growth of 46.7% year-on-year. The profit after tax for the second quarter also climbed by 27.1% from 3.2 billion in the preceding quarter. Shares of the company are trading close to their 52-week high of 1,177 rupees, and the stock price of the two- and three-wheeler company has zoomed 116% from its low of 513 rupees that it had touched on March 7, 2022. If there is one industry that is not impacted by the highs and lows of the economy, it's the Indian wedding industry. Indians are known to spend lavishly on weddings, come rain or sunshine. This makes wedding-related stocks extremely lucrative for investors. However, one must realize that demand for these products or services is seasonal. The revenue of the companies in this space may also depend on other factors other than demand. Therefore, one must view wedding stocks with the same amount of caution as one would view other stocks. Sustained research must not be compromised, despite the positive odds. That's all we have for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, goodbye.